Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today and we are going to go look at another Lost Pyramid. And when I was trying to put together my pyramid list, I was trying to look at all the lists that people had done over the past decades and really centuries because this man here, Carl Lepsius, about 175 years ago, he led an expedition to Egypt and he documented some structures that are not really seen above ground today and his research is pretty valuable and he has a couple books that i check out once in a while and i was reading his account of his expedition to saqqara and he came across a structure that he called the headless pyramid now, when I read Headless Pyramid, I was thinking, a pyramid without a top? Well, that's probably one of these strange unfinished pyramids, maybe. So I thought I would check it out. Now, when researching the Headless Pyramid, seeing Zahi Was led an expedition here about 10 years ago, and they uncovered it, and it was quite a chore removing the sand, and I found this clip, and I'll just play it here. It's not every day that you stumble upon a missing pyramid, but that's exactly what archaeologists in Egypt have done. We found the burial chamber, and we found also the lid of a sarcophagus. Only the base remains of what has been known as the missing pyramid, or headless pyramid, of a pharaoh. This one was actually first discovered back in the 1800s, but was covered by 25 feet of desert sands, and no one had been able to find it since. It's not discovered yet the entrance of the pyramid because it's located underneath this village that we are planning to move this village soon to another area in the valley. Officials say the pyramids date back to around 2400 BC. They also say they discovered a ceremonial procession road where high priests carried mummified remains of sacred bulls. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press. Now, just a couple things about this report. Just the base of the pyramid was found, and this just looks like the base of all those other unfinished pyramids. Now, this sarcophagus lid, what was this made out of? There seems to be a couple conflicting reports, but could the dynastic Egyptians have made that? Does that look like it was machine made? Does that look like it's absolutely perfect? These stones look like the very ancient, very ancient weathered stones that are found at some of these unfinished pyramids and also places such as the Red Pyramid. Inside the Red Pyramid, there are extremely weathered, ancient, huge stones like this. And I don't know if you notice in some of these shots, and I know this video is a little blurry, but some of these granite stones here are just like the mammoth granite stones that were found at the bottom of the so-called unfinished pyramid at Zayat al Aryan. That's what the base of that pyramid was made out of. These huge granite stones. I find that interesting. Now, reading Lepsius' report and seeing that video and some pics and some trees that were right behind this archaeological dig, well... I knew right where this was. I've looked at Zakara often enough to I know there's only one spot here where there are some trees growing. So I knew right where this is. And it's right here. This is the area. I'll back it up. That's a little blurry. But this is the area of the Headless Pyramid. And this is where that sarcophagus was found. That sarcophagus lid right here. So under the sand here, what exactly is under the sand? There appears to be other, a lot of other structures immediately around here. And it seems at Saqqara, all these places underground might eventually hook up. And it's one massive underground system of tunnels probably just like a Giza. Now here is a pic of what they found at the bottom of this substructure. 
And it just seems to me by looking around, it seems a lot of this substructure, the walls, are missing. And probably, in my opinion, maybe this is where they quarried some stone for the dynastic structures that were built around Saqqara, around these ancient sites. That is just a theory. But I just can't help but notice these massive blocks that are down here. Seems to be... In description, the same as at the bottom of uh, Jadefri's and the Pyramid of Zayat al Aryan. But that sarcophagus lid here, let's take a little closer look at that. Now, here is Mr. Hawass down at the bottom of this substructure with this sarcophagus lid. And here, perfectly drilled holes in it. And this has grooves, and this was to be slid over a huge perfectly made sarcophagus that is in ruins I guess just pieces of it but the lid gives you a great idea that the people whoever built this had high technology machinery now I mentioned uh, Vlad 9VT in my Q&A video he is on my other channel list but he has a video here that I was really glad to see he did a video here and I'm glad I checked out other YouTube videos on this because it's a channel that's on my uh, recommended list. But here, he shows what is down here, these mammoth blocks. And you can see here, by the amount of trash, this isn't just sand. Were they covering this place in trash at one time? I really have to wonder. Would just the desert winds blow in all that trash? But here you see the mammoth blocks, just like I suppose the ones that were down in the bottom of the pits with some of these unfinished pyramids and all that trash that really bugs me but check out Vlad's video here and I will leave a link for this it below. It gives you a very good close-up look at the smooth sides of this sarcophagus that's gray. Some reports I think Zahi says this is gray granite but this is just a good look and I'll leave a link for this video and it gives you a great look around but what really bugs me here in this video is all this trash is this just wind-blown trash that just happened to make its way down into this pyramid that was mostly covered up or are they using this to throw trash at actually that really bugs me but this is a good video gives you a great look something I think is very ancient and I will leave the link below. Here is that massive lid, and they say it's gray sandstone. Others say it's gray granite. I'm not a rock expert. Maybe somebody can fill me in or look into this a little further. But here they have many picks. Let me just go over here. And here is a close-up of that edge. It's kind of beveled. They are interlocking. And I just find this whole thing to be pretty cool, pretty interesting. If somebody made this today, I'd say, man, you are an expert craftsman and have fine tools, obviously. But I will leave this link below. It gives uh, many good picks. And here is a diagram of how this lid interlocks with the sarcophagus. And the sarcophagus was found broken up. You can find a few picks of that. But this is interlocking, and it seems those holes drilled in the top maybe rods were put in there to seal it up permanently who knows but I find this to be fascinating and this is reminiscent of other sarcophagus found in some of these very ancient structures now what do we have here what does this look like in my mind's eye well if we take away these stones and these appear, appear to be fairly modern compared to other things here but it seems, if you look along this ridge and this ridge, this seems to be the original compartment. Descending shaft here. And then over time, and if this was open for thousands of years in the middle of Saqqara, people would have been, could have been down here at many different periods of history. But it seems that they're, they build, maybe built with these smaller stones down in this pit. That's just the way it looks to me. And there is a strange sarcophagus found down here with absolutely not one bit of a 
inscription on it. But that is just the way it looks to me. If you cleared out these stones, we would have a pit like Jedefri's, like Zayat al Aryan. This is angled toward the west. Descending shaft. And then it seems maybe this place was just quarried over time. But they describe this as a substructure with the descending shaft. Now, here is a diagram of what they say was here a pyramid but all that was found was a descending shaft in an open pit, what would have been in the middle of the substructure. Was there a pyramid here originally? Well, I seriously doubt it. Mark Lehner says this comes, I believe, from the 10th dynasty or the 12th dynasty, the intermediate period. Sahi Oas is like seven dynasties off earlier. He says this is Menkauhor's pyramid, Menkauhor's, and that isn't the guy who has a little pyramid of Giza. But Zahi Oas says this is Menkahor's pyramid. There wasn't anything inscribed on that sarcophagus or in this place, period. But Zahi Oas will put it on record that this is Menkahor's pyramid simply because he is the only pharaoh of the 5th dynasty that they have not assigned a pyramid to yet no evidence whatsoever just he's the last guy that we haven't assigned a pyramid to <laughs> but that is a little bit on the headless pyramid as it was called by lepsius he didn't know what to say about it so we called it the headless pyramid 10 years ago this was a pretty big story with zahi was done this today leading people down here and seeing these strange ruins with all the widespread speculation of a much earlier civilization in Egypt. I really doubt it if he would have done this today. This was done 10 years ago. But I think the bottom of this substructure was quarried, and that's why it just looks a little different than Jedefre's and Zayat al Aryan. It's obviously not as big. But there's a substructure and the layout is exactly like these unfinished pyramids. And why do I say it's quarried? Well, we have another unfinished pyramid. This is the one of Neferefere, the descending shaft in the big open pit. But appears over time when, you know, the dynastic Egyptians were living around here for thousands of years. They quarried inside of this place. That's just the way it looks to me. But we have a very undistinguished spot at Saqqara, but I think a big mystery lay under there. We have a whole bunch of ruins in Saqqara. We have vast underground chambers where millions of mummified animals were found. Baboons, birds, dogs, the whole deal. But that is a little bit of the Headless Pyramid. If you have any comments, please, please leave it and check out the links below. Hope you thought that was interesting and you all have a very nice day.